Hello everyone, and welcome to this Unity tutorial. In this Unity tutorial, I'm just going to go over what all these menu, all... I'm pretty much just going to go over all these little tabs and menus and such that will probably open up when you first uh, start Unity. So, in when you first start Unity, let me click on it, sorry. Um, you're not going to get this. You're going to get a pre-built um, game that you can edit and such called Angry Bots. So how to get out of that is you go to File, and you go to New Project. Not New Scene, New Project. And pretty much, the difference between a new... I mean, you can do New Scene, but don't... It's better to do New Project because then you can start, like, uh, having your own assets and such, and it doesn't get mixed up with Angry Bots stuff and all that such. And, I mean, you can import the stuff from Angry Bots as well. So, yeah, once you go here, and you do new new project, a new window will open up. And pretty much what I will say is, you'll put the name right here, and then you can select if it's a 3D, 2D. I'm going to do 3D, and then this is the stuff you can um, import in the new uh, project. But I'm not going to import stuff, because I'm not going to go into that much detail in this tutorial. So pretty much... Now let's go into the main part of what I was I wanted to get to in this tutorial. So what do all these little tabs and such do? So let's start out with the scene. So the scene tab obviously shows you what's in your game from a non-player perspective, in a creator's perspective in a way. And how you move around in the scene is you hold Option, just like in Maya, and it's pretty much all the same, except for the mouse click, which moves around, and um, the uh, right mouse button, which zooms in and out. In Maya, it's the other way around, where the mouse button is the zoom in and out, and the right mouse click is to hold it, I think. Yes. And then obviously you can just zoom on the mouse wheel to zoom in and out again. And you can see in the top right hand box that it is... A little different from Maya. Okay, so now you see the scene. The game obviously means that this is what the player will see. And the default color is blue. Now if we go over to here in the project, now this should be the project that you made, new project, and what this will hold is assets in this project and these assets that are in the project will carry over into new scenes. So that's why you do projects instead of, instead of scenes. Because the projects will be separate assets from other projects, but you can import them anyways. And the scene, and then each scene you make will have those assets from this project, if that makes sense. So if I make a project, and I make a scene, and if I want to make a new scene, I'll get the assets from the old scene. Very com it's complicated in a way. Now this is the hierarchy. This is all the stuff that is in this scene. And as you can see, only the main camera is in this scene so far. Um, later I'll show you how to do some cool stuff with the hierarchy, but not right now. So let's actually go into the inspector instead of the console. So what the inspector does is, if you click on an object, so right now you can see the main camera, I click on it, and it will give me all the details of the object. So obviously it's a camera, a GOI player, audio listener, which allows you to hear the music. You can rename it. You can change the position, rotation, scale, some more stuff that I've already done. And then you can change the background color in here. Oh dear God. Oh, I clicked the... Okay, so yeah. Stop. There we go. So now if we click on play, it should be a different color. Yeah, it's it's great. And then, ooh, ooh. So yeah, these three buttons up here obviously play the game, pause or play the level, pause the level, and then skip through it. Uh now the console. So pretty much the console will tell you if there's any errors or if there's any warnings throughout the uh making of the level. This is mainly used for scripting, and in Unity you can use different types of scripts, so let me just see here. Yeah, you can use Java, C++, I mean C-sharp, sorry, uh, Boolean, 
and then all these others. And that's about it for this tutorial about how to go over stuff. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to um, make um, make cubes and all that such, and then how to move them around, just like I did in the uh, Maya. Kind of similar to what I did in the Maya tutorial, only this time it's in Unity. Okay, um, leave a like if, the, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Uh, and subscribe to... Uh, and if you want to see video, any of my videos, you can check out my channel and subscribe to see any new videos. And yeah, that's it. Okay, everyone. Goodbye.